right, so we're trying to find the selling price. So I let X be the selling price. And it says last year they yielded 8% 8% interest of the face value. So that would be 5,000 times 8%. And that's zero eight, sorry. That's gonna give you 400. And then what's it say? It says that that interest was, 400 was, that's my equal sign, about 6.5% 6, 6 of the selling price. 0, 0.65 of selling price, which is X. So that's gonna be 400 over 0 0.065 equal X. And because it uses the word approximately, I'm going to look at places where I can mess with my math, you know, change a number from like if you had uh, 13 over 24, that's about 12 over 24. This is the first time I ever worked this problem, and uh, I didn't see any place to make my math nicer. Now, what I would do, I think I would do this. I would multiply top and bottom by 1,000. Multiply that by a thousand and that by a thousand. So then you don't really multiply the top. What I'm trying to do is make it a whole number in the bottom. It's just gonna give you 65, right? And then I would say five will go into 65 13 times. Five will go into 400. That's gonna be 80. And then I would think I would just start my long, let me see, so that's 80,000, right? 80,000 in the top, 80,000 in the top, divided by 13. And 13 will go into 80,000. Five and three is 15, be six. I think that's gonna be, yeah. Six and three is 18. That's gonna be 78, that's 20. That's gonna be one. And I'm gonna look at my answers. And only one of them is a six one. So I'd stop right there. And, Say my answer was that very last one. I think it's six one five four. Let's go again just to see. So that was it'd be twenty, and that's thirteen. Let's see what the next number would be just in case. That's going to give you seventy, and that's going to give you a five. Yeah. So I wouldn't finish that division, but that that's that's how I would do it.